Hi, welcome to today's art appreciation session, which aims to provide a moment of calm and quiet reflection in your day. I invite you to study Salisbury Cathedral from the Meadows, which was painted by John Constable and was first exhibited in 1831. It's currently housed at Tate Britain. It's six foot canvas and it's painted in oils. John Constable is probably one of our best known British artists. He's renowned for his landscape paintings of Dedham Vale on the Essex Suffolk border where he was born. Indeed, the area is now known as Constable Country. He lived from 1776 to 1837 and is associated with the Romantic era. His father was a corn and coal merchant and a farmer and he owned Flatford Mill and Dedham Mill, which both feature in Constable's paintings. John was expected to join and eventually take over the family business, but over time his father allowed him to pursue a career in art instead. At the time, family and village life was along the lines of Jane Austen's novels. She was his contemporary. In 1806, Constable toured the Lake District but found that the landscape there was less inspirational for him than his beloved Suffolk. Constable was inspired by the landscapes of French artists Claude Lorraine and the works of Gainsborough and Rubens. He said that painting is but another word for feeling and that the sounds of water escaping from mill dams, willows and old rotten plants, slimy posts and brickwork, I love such things. He's known for depicting scenes of everyday life, which was unfashionable at the time, as there was more of an interest in romantic ruins and idealised scenes, wild landscapes. He was unconventional. Sometimes he painted portraits and religious commissions to earn a living, but they weren't his preference. In 1816, when he was 40, he got married and they took a honeymoon tour of the south coast of England. From this time, he painted the sea at Weymouth and Brighton and he started to develop new painting techniques, showing more of an emotional range in his art. In 1821, he exhibited the Haywain, a view from Flatford Mill at the Royal Academy, probably one of his best known paintings. And if you're familiar with it, you'll notice some parallels with the painting that we're looking at today. Constable was interested in capturing the ever-changing effects of the weather and light and the time of day. So he would create preliminary sketches that were very free and loose. These were done directly with oils out in the landscape. Then he would develop his ideas back in his studio. Of particular note are his studies of clouds. These were never intended for exhibition. His paintings often feature large areas of sky giving it a strong presence. He wrote, No two days are alike, nor even two hours. And when I sit down to make a sketch from nature, the first thing I do is to forget that I have ever seen a picture. He inspired the Impressionist painters who were to follow. Constable never became financially successful and didn't become part of the art establishment until he was 52, unlike his contemporary Turner, who became a, a member of the Royal Academy aged 24. His style of depicting pastoral scenes was unpopular in Britain, and he saw more paintings in France. However, he preferred to remain in England than to travel abroad. He never left Britain and said, I would rather be a poor man in England than a rich man abroad. Of note, in this time, the French Revolution took place between 1789-94 and the Napoleonic Wars occurred between 1803-1815 with the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. In Britain, there was political turmoil and economic depression and agrarian riots associated with the Industrial Revolution as well as the crisis within the Anglican Church. With this backdrop of upheaval, Constable's pastoral scenes provide a focus on the beauty of nature in its ever-changing form. 
but they're also imbued with feeling. Salisbury Cathedral from the Meadows was started shortly after his wife died, and although it was exhibited in 1831, he continued working on it until his death in 1837. He considered it his masterpiece. It's a complex image that captures the turmoil of mourning, but also hope through the symbol of the rainbow. As we look at the rainbow and the passing storm, we might recognise a resonance with our own situation going through the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's walk along the path that leads us to the riverbank. Notice the sound of the cartwheels travelling through the water, the creaking cart and the splashing of the horse's steps through the river. Maybe the driver calls to his animals to guide them. Or exchanges some words with the boatman in their Wiltshire accents. Perhaps they wave at us. Maybe the dog barks and wags its tail. Notice how the river flows, making gentle sounds over the rocks below. Look further into the scene. The storm is passing. The dark clouds are giving way to lighter, pink-tinged clouds, and there are patches of blue. Imagine the change in the air as the oppression of the storm passes. The smell of the meadow after rain. The birds starting to sing again. The sunshine is beginning to move across the scene and the mighty cathedral building is gradually emerging from the shadows, the clouds. Right in the middle, the rainbow creates a dynamic arc and provides a promise of better conditions ahead. Notice the clouds moving and the warmth returning to the scene. Gradually, retrace the path back into your own space. Notice your breathing, its gentle rhythm. Notice the room around you. Maybe have a stretch. Now it's time to enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, look up. Notice those changing clouds.